morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 861st edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni, and that would be me. Welcome, traders, to another night of insanity that's going to lead to another day of insanity, which would be Friday. This video is being filmed for trading on Friday, April 27th, 2020. 12. Did I just say April 27th? I know I'm not wrong about this. April 27th is a day that lives in infamy in my past. Didn't we have like a big stock market meltdown or something? April 27th, 1987. I remember being in the silver pit and it moving about $9 in the same day and a half. April 27th, yes, I know that that's a day in my past that meant a lot of things changing in my life. Um, so hey, maybe it's an omen, April 27th, this is 2012, but April 27th, 1987, I will never forget that day. All right, traders, let's keep on moving, sorry, but that just caught my attention. All right. This video, as I said, is being filmed for trading on April 27, 2012. And we have a couple of topics we need to cover. There are two things on this board. They both are about technical analysis. We all know that technical analysis is about the best thing you can ever find to chart the markets moving forward as a map to tell you where they should go next. But nothing is risk-free. You always have to trade with a stop. You must know that trading is extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss. Futures trading is not for every account, so be careful if you don't know what you're doing and you don't use stops. Please turn off this video and get up and run. But for you traders that do use stops and understand what's going on, let's see what we got on the board. Several things here. Tonight, we're starting off with a green omni for Friday. I love to clap for those green omnis. Green omni means we expect the market to move up on Friday. This omni is for at least the onset of trading. We expect Friday to be a good strong day, but this is at least for the beginning of the day. If the market 10 turns to flip, we'll see what it does. We'll deal with it, but we're starting off bullish. It's going up. Why am I saying that it's a green omni only maybe for half the day? I'm not saying the market's going to go down. We have a green omni, but here it is, traders. The ES, E-mini S&P, while looking really good on the charts as of the close Thursday, it really needs to prove itself on Friday, and I will show you why. Technically, the S&P has just gotten itself back above a bear flag, and it needs to stay above that bear flag, not turn around and go back into it. It needs to stay above it and move on to prove itself on Friday. But there is this, and traders, you Omniacs who have known me for a while and follow my videos, my nightly YouTubes, you will have seen a video, many videos like this, which I'm about to say to you right now. We've had videos about, these, about this very same topic, and in most cases, it worked out really well. So pay attention, and it is repetitive patterns are the cornerstones to accurate technical analysis. And what that means is, if you've seen it happen in the past and it happens again on your chart, the likelihood is it's going to happen again. If you see a formation and another formation looks just like it, it's a repetitive pattern. Usually a repetitive pattern means whatever happened after this pattern will happen after the very same one repeats. So let's say you had some weird pattern and the market dropped. Next thing you know, it comes back up, creates that same weird pattern you would expect to drop. Same thing with rallies. That is called repetitive patterns, and I assure you, they are the cornerstones to accurate technical analysis. So traders, the market could stall here. I'm a little bit worried because of the E-mini S&P and the bear flag. It just got back above. It really does need to prove itself. But 
When you watch the chart segment I'm about to show you, you'll see that to keep this thing to prove itself, it looks like there's a repetitive pattern in the Dow Jones transportation average that will propel the S&P higher. Traders, if you like the analysis that you are about to see in this, in this chart segment, please come on down to livewithoscar.com. Grab a free membership in one of my free trading rooms. Do not trade alone. Come on down to livewithoscar.com and allow me to teach you how to read the graphs and apply what you find on those graphs to market movement. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, Oscar Carboni is holding another Omnicamp live in Las Vegas. Omnicamp is an intensive four-day course taught by the Wall Street whiz, Oscar Carboni himself. Oscar has been analyzing markets and trading commodities on and off the New York trading pits for over 30 years. Trading for a living is a very difficult business. Oscar will simplify the process so that you can easily understand and analyze the markets. Classes are limited. For more information, call 702-629-4755. Our phones are staffed 24-7. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. Trading futures is not suitable for all accounts. Traders, the E-mini S&P daily bar chart. This is why I say the E-mini S&P has to prove itself on Friday for us to remain bullish. Right here, it has to really, really, really has to settle above 1391 to 1392, which is the top of the bull flag line, this one right here. If we cannot settle above this line, we will drop right back into the bear flag. Then we're poised, obviously, to come out of the bottom of it. Not the case for the moment. This is Friday we're talking about, April 27th. We are right here settlement on Thursday. We expect it to stay above this flag and continue on. The analysis is pointing higher. Indicators are pointing higher. The other indices that I've analyzed are pointing higher. And the Omni is green, so we do expect to best the flag again on Friday and keep on going. Now, this is the reason why I say the ES needs to prove itself. It's right back above the bear flag. That's a good thing. It's above the average. Now, we need to go around and look at other charts and see if there's any reason to think that the S&P will stay above this flag. Because, let's face it, Oscar, it's a bear flag, right? Why would you think it'll just turn around and stay in a bear flag and break down? And you know what? That's what bear flags do. So, of course, that's my first thought. So I started scanning other charts and looking for some form of a repetitive pattern that would tell us what's coming next. And traders, this for me was like an epiphany. Now for you, it may seem like a stretch of the imagination, but I am telling you this, I have found other patterns just like this type, not the exact same look, but another type of pattern that repeats itself, and I've shown that to you many times in several videos. These things work out. Watch this. This is Dow Jones Transportation Average. Repetitive patterns are the cornerstones to accurate technical analysis. Look at this formation. You have what a one day run up, a drop into what could be a bear flag. Let's just call it a little parallel channel, but it is a bear flag. Comes down, we mark it with this little thing, comes right back up, puts in this other flag, makes another dip, we mark it again, and blows out to a big fat rally again has like a bear flag right here, but it's important to see you have this one rally day and then it breaks right down into the flag, breaks down, loops right back up, puts in another flag, loops right back up into a nice parallel channel and a big rally. Well, look what has just happened right here. Slightly smaller, but exactly the same look. You had a one day run up, the arrow points it out, slams right down into a bear flag, the bear flag goes into a dip, the dip goes back into another flag, another dip, What's expected now is the same thing that happened here. We expect to happen here. You had this, you've got this. You had the little dip and then the dip. You put that flag in, you got this flag. You had the dip after the flag, the dip after the flag. What happens next is a rally here. What should happen next is a rally there. And if that's the case, then that flag that I just showed you in the S&P chart, we will stay above it and we will continue. If this is a prelude of what's to come, we are about to put in one of these moves 
this channel with the question marks should fill in if in fact this repetitive pattern is going to repeat itself. Traders, that's what I found. I've looked at many other charts. You can convince yourself tonight of either the bear flag being a bear flag or this telling us that the bear flag will be a bull flag. The rest of the charts are certainly pointing higher, at least at the onset of trading for Friday. So let's see what we get. Remember, stops are in. This looks really accurate. It looks like it will work, but there is no piece of technical analysis that will work 100% of the time. What we do expect repetitive patterns to repeat themselves. Let's see what we get. So traders, you've seen the charts. There's my argument for why we're starting off with the green on me, baby, rock and roll. You've seen the flag, you see we're above it in the ES, but it needs to prove itself on Friday. And then you have the repetitive patterns, which absolutely are the cornerstones to accurate technical analysis. So we have a nice little scenario here to look forward to. Let's see if we're right. Traders, again, I know some of you that watch my videos for quite some time now, you've seen this exact same statement. You've seen me come up with some wacky pattern that other people go, what is he, out of his mind? So far, those repetitive patterns, when I have found them, have panned out to do two, three in a row. So let's see if the repetitive pattern I just showed you on the transportation average does repeat itself. That's what we're expecting, and it would propel the S&P higher. Traders, again, come on down to livewithoscar.com. If there are any of you out there that would like to join me in June, I'm holding a four-day training session here live in Vegas. I will train you to come up with the Omni Arrow, to come up with your trade recommendations and how to apply them to your trading going forward. If you'd like to learn the Omni Methods, Come on down to LiveWithOscar.com, click the OmniCamp banner, fill out the application, and I will call you back. OmniCamp, June 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Listen, traders, I don't know if there's a ticket, maybe two left. You know, I always keep a sneaky seat open. I know there was one, maybe two seats last week. I haven't checked, but if you'd like, fill out an application. If there's an extra seat, I will call you. All right, traders. I'll see you at the site. Remember, always keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. <laughs> Stop so Stones to accurate technical analysis. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.